So we were buying supplies for the float the other day in the local Walmart, and we're checking out, and then an older couple's like, oh, it's Metal Mom. Yeah, we're looking forward to the float tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, we're in Stoughton, Wisconsin. And we're here for Sit in the Mai, the big Norwegian Independence Day celebration. And some of my earliest memories are going to the Sit in the Mai parade. My whole life, I didn't realize it was weird growing up here until I moved away. <laughs> and they're like, so who are the popular cliques in school? And I'm like, the Norwegian dancers. And people are like, where did you go to school? <laughs> and then I have to explain that in third grade, we all had to learn the Norwegian national anthem and sing it. Yes. I recently went back and watched some recent parades, like video, the local public access channel mm -hmm. shoots the parades, and I was watching them, and I'm like, I, I didn't remember it being that lame. Remax, it's a full-service real estate team. Here's Homer the Lion from Home Savings Bank. They have a little hospital bed. I think their cootie car is having a little trouble, though. <laughs> Another crowd favorite with that little armadillo pulling that wagon. Miss Badgerland, outstanding teen. Here comes a car full of exchange students. Here come the Stoughton High School Norwegian dancers. My understanding is that they don't do any of this in Norway. There's always a float with the king and queen. How do they the determine center. the king and queen of Sit the, the Basically, it's the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, it's you the have, members yeah, of the chamber? Yeah, you have to be a member okay. of the chamber. And it's a racket. I remember being in middle school and seeing a kid wearing a Metallica metal up your ass shirt with a knife sticking out of a toilet. And I was like, how can you wear that to school? It's absolutely <laughs> terrifying. And then four years ago, I remember being at a thrift store and finding one of those shirts. And I was like, what if I in, like empowered myself by finding this Metallica metal up your ass shirt and like do something very sweet and innocent with it? Basically, you just said, I want you to wear the shirt and I want you to do something really mom-like. There were, we had, roasted hot dog so I you know took the tongs you know held it up and had my picture taken. Yeah to me the more obscure the more hardcore the shirt is and then the sweeter the thing you're doing <laughs> that's the funniest part to me. Yeah. And I told you my idea that I was like you're gonna be in the parade next year and what was your reaction? I said oh, no I'm not. I am not going to be in the parade. I've never been in the parade ever. Yeah. Well see part of the joy of this for me is that you're not really that into it. That's the fun part to me. <laughs> I think growing up, I've always loved to torment you in various okay. ways, with yes, pranks yes, and yes, things like that. Yep. So this is kind of an extension of that in a way. Oh, now you tell me. Well, because you don't like to be the center of attention, but you're going to be on a 10-foot throne <laughs> with dragons and smoke breathing and a giant balloon in your likeness. Mm -hmm. And you have no choice in the matter. No. So grateful that other people sort of glommed on to this vision. And it's we got the people from the local theater group, which Dad and you are big parts of, to help the set builders have been making the float. Yeah. And I had this idea in my head of what the ideal float would be, and they just, it, it far exceeded oh. my expectations. I was like, we don't have to have the dragon breathe smoke, and Jeff's like, no, we're going to make it work. <laughs> it's been so awesome that people chipped in, and I was able to basically pay for the balloon through this fundraising campaign. My mom's hair right here. Yep. I don't have no idea where my glasses are. Yeah. But but you can, like, you got it in, oh, there's the glasses. There's the glasses. Yeah. So I can pick up this whole thing, basically. <laughs> this is a 30-foot parade balloon. Had all these talented people get involved. And then this band Crack Hammer, and they got in touch and they said, we want to write a song for your mom. Like, Metal Mom's theme song. That's been the cool part for me, is that, like, friends, family members, who are going to march in the parade. The community that I've been sort of disconnected with mm -hmm. has all mobilized to make this ridiculous dream yeah. come true. Good afternoon and welcome to the 2018 Set in the Mai Parade. It's been great Boonod weather. Yes, it is. For and all Norwegian those, sweaters. Yep, the Norwegian sweaters and the beautiful wool Norwegian Boonods.
our newest addition to the Seth and My Parade. This is Metal Mom. Never in my history have I seen a Mason Day Parade style balloon. Really goofy idea, and uh, I had the idea but had no idea how to do it. And so I really appreciate all the talents and people's time that they put into this, and all your support for making this come come true. Mom, come on up. Oh, we had one protester. Okay. Well, good. I'm a song stuck in more for our advertising. Actually, you know what? That is a catchy tune. It is a catchy tune. The Metal Mom. The Metal Mom song? Oh, hell, Metal Mom. Here, I didn't know how to do it. I was kind of going like this. I was too much. How'd it go, Mom? It went, it went great. I, the nice thing is all I had to get up, do is take a shower and show up. It was so surreal. I know I've said that a lot, but just, you know, when you start out and all of a sudden you see all these people hollering and yelling and they're like, you know, ah! <laughs> Evil queen for a day, yeah. yeah. It turned out really great and it was a huge smash hit. <laughs> Will you be Metal Mom again next year? Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. Yeah, send we're, me more shirts. We're doing it again next year, so <laughs> see you then. Bye.